Hey hi, this is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about the issue where uh, whenever we try to open a file which is synced from a OneDrive or a SharePoint location onto the Office application, we get an error message stating upload blocked and followed by the specific reason why it is blocked. So let's get started. Before we start the topic, a small introduction about me. I currently work as Microsoft 365 Support Ambassador for Microsoft. Our day-to-day -day routine is to take care of service requests created around Microsoft 365 products and services. So please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with Office 365 and let's resume the topic basically the error which we get in this kind of scenario mostly look like this i have three samples for the same it can start with upload blog and then followed by any kind of an error so mostly if we get upload block error can be resolved by a common step which is for all the other error starting with upload block so uh, as you can see here upload blocked we couldn't verify that you have the necessary permission to upload the file which is one kind of an error and uh, the other is the file is in read only mode with the message we open this workbook in read only from the server and followed by the upload blocked we couldn't verify that you have the necessary permission to upload this file and the other example for this is upload block you are required to sign in to upload or changes to this location even after you sign in it may or may not fix the issue there are few reasons why it happens if you have onedrive or sharepoint location syncing onto your computer and uh, you have multiple locations which are syncing through onedrive application that can create conflicts as well but we can have multiple locations syncing from onedrive without causing any issue so just make sure that uh, in your onedrive uh, which you can see here uh, i don't have the onedrive syncing right now but you will see a blue cloud icon check by right clicking on that and clicking on help and settings followed by settings and under account just check the account which is used for syncing the location and the other location which are syncing to it uh, once you confirm that everything is fine over there let's go back uh, to the office application we are basically trying to open a file from a synced location to word excel or powerpoint application in case you get this kind of an error uh, we just have to go to this application again for example i will choose word here if we get a banner here we will check uh, the accounts which are in here if you have two accounts in here uh, you might want to sign out from the account which you are not using on this so just make sure that you have only one account which is necessary for making the change on the document it has to be the same account which is having the permissions on the onedrive synced location from where you are trying to access or make changes to the file so once you sign out from all the unnecessary account from here and sign in with the relevant one which is the same in the onedrive as well do check the behavior close all the office application try to open the app again and check there is a chances that this will fix the issue in case if the issue is still not fixed um, just go to settings and uh, in settings we'll go to access work or school and you will see this window uh, and to confirm how many accounts do you see here if you only have the account which is there in your onedrive and then in your office application then it is good to go but if you do have another accounts present in here which you are not using uh, they could be in your outlook and still present in here you can go ahead and remove them remove them only if you see them as the title work or school account and not like this connected to office 365 mdm so only if you see them as work or school account go ahead and disconnect all the accounts from here as well 
uh, even though if it is the account which you are using OneDrive what we will do is after removing the account we will go back to the office application and try to sign in again and it will create a entry back to the access work or school account go ahead remove the account from here go back to word application sign out completely from the word application close everything reopen word application again sign back in once you are signed back in go to that location and access the file Do let me know if you have any question in the comment section as well. Any doubts, you can drop it in the comment section. And until then, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.